Guess who's back? Back again. Welcome into sports. I'm Megan Glover. The Menard Eagles are finally back from their quarantine period as they prepare to take on the Royals Mustangs. Head coach Justin Charles says that during this off period, it made him realize that their bond is something he can't take for granted. It's kind of surreal because you're, you're, you're playing football, you're out there competing, and you take some things for granted, you know, and you take those relationships that you build with those young men uh, for granted, and, and it, it has been tough uh, being away from it. And, but, you know, we get a chance to, to visit with the kids on uh, Microsoft Teams and, and video chat and just talk about, you know, film, talk about the opponent, talk about – uh, classes, talk about life. How things were in the off season and when we all were heavily quarantined, the Eagles had to go back virtual. Here, they studied their opponent, who we all know is about that smash mouth football through and through, but also gives them the benefit of controlling the clock. The Eagles, having gone on a three game losing streak right before their quarantine, understand that they have to capitalize best on offense, making those first down plays on defense. We've got to be able to control the, control the ball. You know, because that's what they're going to try to do. But whenever we get a chance to get the ball, we've got to be able to capitalize on our, our opportunities. Uh, can't go in there, you know, half cocked and not ready to play because those guys have been playing for the past three weeks and we, we, we've we been out for two weeks. And so um, we're going to have to go in there and just make sure that we understand that we've got to do our job on a consistent basis as far as slowing them down their, their offense. Uh, winning first downs is the biggest thing because when you, when you win first downs defensively, you set yourself up uh, for success on that drive. And then we've got to win first downs on offense as well. And for the Pineville Rebels looking to keep adding to that foundation, they took one on the chin last week against Live Oak. And that was a pretty long drive back home. But head coach Darren Moore says the execution was there. They held the ball a total of about 15 minutes, but with 400 yards of offense, averaging about 10 yards per play. As they return home this week for the finale against Walker, who's sitting at 1-6 for the season, Moore says their looks can be deceiving. They're very young. They're a very young football team, a lot of sophomores and juniors, uh, apart from the receiver. You know, I would say that their record is deceiving because they've been in most of every single game that they've played in. You know, they're you know, they're one and six right now, but I think they've lost four games by a touchdown or less. And with a young class, with a young team of sophomores and juniors, um, you know, that that's something that I know that their coaching staff is very optimistic about. Looking at the power rankings, the Revs are currently 28. Moore says that that playoff mindset is already on their minds, and Friday's game is all about controlling their own destiny. With the win over Walker, Pineville will for sure move into the postseason. With the loss, they might be biting their fingernails on Sunday before the brackets drop. I, I sent my message to my team this week. I said, you know, you control your own destiny. You know, what, what, you know, what's better than that opportunity? You get the opportunity to control your own destiny. And, uh, you know, i much rather win this game and definitely be in than uh, lose this game and, and wait on Sunday hoping to get in. Um, so, I mean, it's real simple. You know, our guys have to go out, they have to execute, they have to practice hard this week and uh, get ready to, you know, get ready to play a, a quality opponent on Friday. For this last week's full football schedule, you can check it out on our website at klx-tv.com.